Hey, it's Evan, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set your home page to a file in your Dropbox. This comes from a question from one of my Twitter followers, Elizabeth, who wrote in to say, I'm watching your last pass tutorial. How do I get the home page on Chrome with my frequent accounts from Dropbox? Me likey. And she's using Chrome. So uh, I'll show you why this is important. So if I load a new tab and I click home, this is what loads up. And this for me is my dashboard. This is where I run my business from. It has everything, personal suppliers, business, daily, everything that I use on an ongoing basis I have on here. And as you can see up here in the URL, it's a local file. This is a Dropbox file that I put in that the great reason to have it on Dropbox is because if I'm at home, if I'm at the office, if I'm on the go, it's my default homepage for all of my browsers so that uh, I have easy access to everything that I need in one place. How to set this, you can see that it's a local link. You're gonna do file semicolon, the triple slash, C users, Scunito is my username, Dropbox folder, and then wherever you're putting it. So in my case, I created a folder called homepage and I named this file homepage three because uh, I've had various versions of it. This is my most recent one. To update this uh, in your Chrome, since she is using Chrome, right? Uh, you click up here, you look at the triple bars here, click that, go down to settings, and then here it says the home button, and you can click change. This might be Google, this might be you know whatever you have already set. Change, and then put in this uh, the URL. And again, it's file, semicolon, triple slash, C semicolon slash users, your username, Dropbox, and then whatever folder you've put it in. So I made a folder in my Dropbox called homepage and named it homepage three. So you put it in there, press okay, press home, and you're done. So hopefully that helped Elizabeth. Uh, if you guys watched this video, you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment underneath. Your comments help me keep going with these videos. And if you have a question for me about technology or about your business, let me know underneath in the comments and I'll make a video reply just like I did for Elizabeth. Thank you guys and I'll see you soon.